Thanks, Stephanie. We're going to go to another part of the atmosphere now. He walked on the moon 37 years ago and is one of the last men to set foot on its surface. At 73 years old, Harrison Schmidt is still on the forefront of lunar exploration, but now his focus is mining. Here's a look at this Apollo 17 crew member's career and what he told young geoscientists in Sudbury last night. Three, two, one. December 1972, NBC cameras are live from the moon, capturing Harrison Schmidt as he brings back 250 pounds of lunar rock and soil samples. Back then, Schmidt said the Apollo 17 mission would inspire more research and innovation. The exploration and settlement of the space frontier is going to occupy the creative thoughts and the creative energies of major portions of generations for the indefinite future. Fast forward 37 years and Schmidt is in Sudbury talking about mining the moon for helium-3, which could provide a new source of infinite energy. There's not much helium-3 here on Earth and uh, the moon does represent a very large resource base for helium-3 and someday uh, when we uh, really decide we need to have alternatives for uh, various other energy sources, well then helium-3 is one of those that should be looked at and the economics should be studied very carefully. Mining the moon is an expensive and potentially dangerous project, but tele-robotics designed and tested in Sudbury could provide solutions. The big issue is that as you get up to the moon, there's a lot of really significant hazards. And so, <laughs> you know, no atmosphere, uh, cosmic radiation, micrometeorites, all those things become quite a difficulty you have to deal with, extremes in temperatures. And so, you know, telerobotics and the work we're doing is extremely important to the future. Now, geoscience students are learning about the synergies between the mining and aerospace industries. It's hoped exposing students to diverse career options will help address a predicted labor shortage in mining and exploration. Studies have been done over the last two years that indicate that despite the downturn we're in now, in the next five years or so, the gap is going to be between 40 and 60,000 people needed in the mining industry.